what are some of your inputs on that work that we did together on the redesign? Well, I, I saw my role as uh, rep being the patient in the room. And I think that worked out pretty well because they would direct a question to me when the patient was being discussed. In the beginning, I think um, I did not have a, a, a huge amount of input because they were going uh, step by step by step about, through what they already do. Each ner the nurses, the LPNs versus the RNs versus the uh, provider versus, and, and um, I found it very interesting. I think it was lucky that there was that learning curve time for me because there was difficulty with the jargon, if you will, and the acronyms and who was even who in the room. It took me a while to get, uh, to get adjusted to. Um, but I was, I cannot tell you how impressed I was by the, the group working together, this whole relationship concept. D weren't you, Melanie? It was unbelievable. They, everybody respected every person in that room and everybody had input and I thought it, uh, the providers just were, were fabulous because you know they were under time pressure to and get back. And the surgeon actually turned to you and asked you specific questions. That's correct. And it was did. a comfortable environment. It, um, it definitely was. Now, we all knew who Carol was, but she didn't always know who all the other people in the room were. And in introducing the team um, at the beginning of each meeting was a meeting skill that sometimes we overlooked. And mm -hmm. Carol was gracious enough to say, um, I don't believe we've met, and make it so that we really were interacting and comfortable for that person whom she didn't know to be able to have a name and a face in that moment. Um, oh, that's right. I wasn't wearing a name tag, so people wondered probably who I was as I came in. No, no, you had a reputation. <laughs> <laughs> and the other, I guess, positive thing, really positive thing was I was constantly being told at the end of the meetings as they broke up how much they appreciated my coming in and doing this as a volunteer and knowing there was somebody there they could turn to. Now I couldn't speak for every patient so sometimes I would think through what did this mean particularly with respect to moving shared decision making tools to a different spot in the workflow. But um, uh, the one I guess other thing that we talked about that I might say is uh, at some point in the process we had a facilitator came in who had had experience in working with these interdisciplinary type, type of teams and that um, he actually addressed me and involved me very frequently and I thought uh, it helped to have the facilitator there at that stage. It was not at the beginning of he wouldn't have been useful then. But as we were, they were restructuring the workflow, um, I, I think that helped. So um, just maybe say one more thing about during the build phase, the programmer actually called you up to have you talk with her specifically. Yes, she did, just to see. She was sitting there through the whole thing and she would, we would always direct, they would direct it to her, can we do this, can we not do this? And of course we couldn't do everything. The dream is still out there to get every little thing put in. And, but um, she called me up and asked me a couple of different questions about the questionnaires. I also was on the questionnaire in the MyQuest group working on the actual language for the questionnaires. Not specifically knee surgery, this was all the questionnaires across. So I had a good sense of how these all fit into that puzzle that you were putting up. But, um, and I developed a really good relationship with the programmer. She was very impressive. <laughs> and so just to wrap up here, do you have any parting words on um, the patient advisor role in general across um, Dartmouth-Hitchcock or as these folks take home the experience that um, they've seen here to their uh, settings? I think uh, it's, a, it's a very important role. I was, I'm able to understand and see the complexities of the decisions having gone through this process and a number of other things that I've worked on 
and take it back and talk to people. And I try very hard, I do have to say, to try to talk to people in different economics settings. So if my cleaning lady, for example, comes in, I'll ask her what she thinks about something. And she has a totally different perspective uh, because of her income level and her age. She's very young. She in, was in the late 20s. So I think that's very useful, and I think that's, a, that's an important part of it. Well, thanks so much, Carol.